Hyuni Bees, welcome to my mukbang channel, Hyuni Eats. It's your girl's boyfriend, Zeno. Today I got everything that's not on their menu, so it's their secret menu. So this is the grilled cheeseburger and animal style burger and the 3x3 three three and animal style fries. So let's dig in because I'm so hungry. Our special guest is just laying down right next to me. I know you guys can't see him, but he's just chilling here. But let's start by eating the grilled cheeseburger. This is just grilled cheese inside. So it's like burger without the patty, but with two grilled cheese. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Wow, even without the patty, the burger is so delicious. It's, I'm telling you, it's their secret sauce. You can never beat their secret sauce. Mmm. Guess what I got? A bunch of chili peppers. Zeno hates getting brushed, right? So every time I pull on his fur, He gets super mad, right? And then he gets mad and he turns around and tries to bite me, but he knows my hand is there. And because he doesn't want to bite me, he'll just like kind of nibble. He'll be like, eh! you know? So when he does that, I act like I'm crying and he comes to me and licks my face. Let me show you guys. Hey! Isn't that seriously the cutest thing ever? He's like the best dog. He's the only boy I need in my life. And the only boy I rough. Mm. Buddy. The only thing about animal fries is that the fries get too soggy too fast. So I actually got the fries light well done. Mmm. I love these, but I hate when the juices spill out everywhere. By the way, I decided to do in and out because one of my best friends that first found me doing mukbang, she requested it um, because she lives in New York. Hi, Yushin. Oh my gosh, I love their grilled onions. So today's topic, before I talk about it, I want to read off this email that I first got. Honey, 
I always, always watch your mukbangs. I'm not sure if you remember, but I'm the one who is in a long distance relationship with my boyfriend. And whenever time allows, we would be calling each other on Facebook and we watch your mukbangs together. I thought this was the cutest thing. Like they call each other and they watch my mukbang at the same time. So it feels like they're together and they're watching me. Thank you. What do you guys think about long distance relationships? Do you guys think that it works out or it doesn't work out? Well, first of all, I think it could work out. But let me first tell you about my long distance relationship um, in high school. So this is the animal style burger. There's pickles in this one. And a lot of the spread you guys see the spread? And then grilled onions on here. My buddy's sleeping in front of me. Mmm. Mmm. Look at all this grilled onion. I love it. Ooh, ooh. Down and dirty. Okay, I got a little carried away because it's so good, but... Okay, so my first long-distance relationship was in 10th grade... 11th grade in high school, so this was when I moved to Korea for a year, and this guy, we went out in 10th grade, so the year before, but then I broke up with him after a month because something happened. Later on in the year, we started talking again, but then I found out I was moving to Korea, so... We were like, you know what? Let's try this long distance relationship thing. Everything was good. This was when it was like MySpace era. So. We could communicate, you know? But it was still super expensive, like international calls and stuff during this time. So. If we did call each other, it would be like once a month or once, twice a month. The first few months were great, of course. It was fine. But things came along. So this guy, he joined the football team. And then, I mean, he was pretty good looking. So I don't blame him, but he had a lot of girls. Later, I find like this girl that's always like messaging him and commenting him on MySpace. Imagine you're like miles and miles and miles apart and you see on his MySpace page, this girl that's always trying to like flirt with them. This was when I was really bad at confrontation. So I didn't really ask him who this girl was. So I felt a little disappointed and abandoned a little bit, I guess. Because I felt like they were talking way more than we were talking, you know? So... I told him, you know what, if you want to, like, meet friends and, you know, talk to girls, like, you know, you, you can do that. I don't know when I'm going to be back, so if you want to do that, go ahead, you know. And then I don't remember what exactly happened, but things didn't work out. 
and we just stay friends. The thing that made me mad though is because I made this like a hundred letter jar thing and I wrote all these like hundred notes. So each each scroll of note would have something on it like I love you or like oh you're looking nice today. You know like those little like encouraging notes I wrote and I was going to ship it to him but we broke up so it's I just threw it away. Well, that's my long distance relationship story. But the reason why I believe long distance relationship will work is look at our technology. It has grown so much so fast. Back then, all we had was MySpace and internet. But now we have FaceTime. We have um, Skype, which is cheaper than, you know, normal calls. We have everything. That's why I believe long distance relationships can work because you can see each other every day if you want, you know? Mmm. Hey, buddy. Three by three. You guys see three patties? This is my first time trying the three by three. I don't know if it's going to fit in my mouth, but let's see. Mmm. It has to be both ways though. If only one person's trying, it's not gonna work obviously. And that's why I think my long distance relationship didn't work because he started, you know, flirting with other girls and I was the only one trying, you know? I can't wait to hear about your guys' long distance relationship stories or what you guys think about long distance relationship, if it works or not. Everyone has their own opinions, you know? Hi, buddy. Hello. Say hi. Hello. My mukbang buddy. Good boy. I take friendship seriously and I have this thing called bond. It's called Chong in Korean and it's like once I get to know you and we're close, like I can't let go of you. Like not in a like creepy way, but you know, it's, do you guys know what I'm saying, right?
eventually everyone went to college. And then I kept trying, but, you know, my friends got boyfriends, I got boyfriend. But later when I visited Korea, I actually contacted everyone and gathered everyone. So I'm saying like friendship holds the same. Like if you're both not trying, it's not going to happen. You both have to try and contact each other and see how everyone's doing. What's up? Like, you know, just a simple what's up. Love, friendship, relationship is not a one-way ticket. It's two ways. Mm -hmm. If you guys agree, press the like button. Can you wait a little? Can you wait a little? Yeah? Last bite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please love my mommy, honey, and I love you guys. Bye bye.